Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to make the, the player move around with the A and D keys. And to do that, we are of course going to have to create a, a script. So go on and click on Indian, add component, go on to new script, and create a C sharp script called player controller. controller. Okay, so now that we have our player controller created, I'm going to explain how we're going to move it. Now, we are not going to use the input.getAxis uh, command or function or whatever it's called, because that's a bit uh, physics reliant. And we're going to make a game that there's not really physics, not much interaction. Just this. Or it is or it's not. It's not. There's not going to be like friction or bounciness or nothing like that. So let's get to it. And um, instead of using this input.get axis, we're going to use something that's called input.get button. So let's get to it. Input.get button. Get you can use input get dot get button. For that, you have to define a button in the input settings. So you're just going to use get key. If input dot get key key code, and we're going to make our player move to the left by pressing the A key. So if input dot get key code equals A then instead of usually people use the rigidbody 2 d dot add force which again causes more interaction and it's more physics reliant we're going to make we're going to use rigidbody 2 d dot velocity and now we're gonna equal this to a new vector two that's gonna have two parameters of course the x and the y and the the y parameter won't be zero because if it if it's zero, then the every time we press the key, the y direction would reset. And for example, if our player was in the air and suddenly we press the a key, our player will stop going down and just go left. So here we put divide to d dot velocity. Come on, what's going on? You have to complete this one first. In the x value, you want to create a variable later on. It's called speed force, and here it's going to be rich body 2d dot velocity dot y. And this basically means that the y velocity is not changed, but the x velocity will be changed. Now let's create this variable. We'll make it a public float so that we can later change it on the int vector speed force okay and we're going to complete our our code our moving code by adding an else if let's just copy this because it's basically the same else if input dot get key code instead of the a key we want to use the d key d key Dollar key, is there a dollar key? Oh, there is. And uh, where it says rigid body to the... wait, there's a, a, a bit of... there's an error over here. This one is fine because the speed force will be a positive value. So by putting a positive value here, it will go to the right. But by putting a positive value here. It will be also to the right, and we want to put it to make it go to the left. So just add a minus over here. And now we're gonna also predefine this. This is not needed because we are going to change it in the inspector, but we're going to predefine it anyways. We're gonna add a value like 50 to the speed to the initial speed force. Let's see how that does. Oh, finally. We want to our player to stop if it's not pressing the A or the D key. So else pg body dot velocity 
wait, we just want you to be careful not to make this mistake. Sometimes caused me to lose a lot of time. New vector two. And speed force will be zero and the y force will be unaltered. So save it by pressing F8. And let's see if it's working properly. Now, okay, it's a bit too fast as you can see. So let's change the speed force in the inspector to say five. Let's see how that does. Okay, that seems like this. That seems nice. Let's leave it at five. So five. And by the way, one thing that you may have noticed is that when we move around our player, he's not. He's like. He's walking correctly this way, but this way it looks like he's making some moonwalk or something like that. So we're going to make it flip in the y axis. Let me show you manually. Like this, if he's going to the left. So let's do that in the code. Okay, so if the player is pressing A, the transform dot local scale equals a new vector free, new vector free, and each of these parameters correspond to one of the scale values, which is x, x, y, and z. And if our player is facing the left, we only want to change the y val the x value to be minus one. But not in here, in the code. So minus one, one, one. And I don't think that's really necessary. But in the D, in the for walking in the to the right, we can make it like this. So that's more legible. Readable. Let's see if now it's properly coded. Okay, it's nice. It's okay by now. And I think that's it for today, guys. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the our character jump.